one green mountain maniac uh, we're going to run through the install and the setup of the november one mike mike logging program and interfacing the yesu 857d to the computer for cat control uh, surprisingly one of the most popular radios on the planet and there's not a lot of information you can find out there on doing this so I figured I'd do a full install rundown video on this uh, this is the RT systems cable highly recommended absolutely brainless to get this going uh, love the November 1 mic mic software uh, any questions you have feel free to register on their support group and I guarantee you they will help you out. They help me out tremendously. So a big thank you, a big wave from here in Vermont over to them. Uh, this, you will need a cat cable. There's two ports on the back of the A57. There's a data port and a, a cat port. You need the cable, the eight pin that goes in the cat port. Do not use a data port for this, regardless of what people tell you. I don't know, I was never able to get it to work. This is the CAT cable. This is what you want. You want to order it from RT Systems. Uh, I don't know if you can see it that well. It's the 8 pin goes in the CAT port. So let's get going on the install. First thing you want to do, you want to download the driver and November 1 Mike Mike software. Uh, download November 1 Mike Mike. Uh, get it installed on the computer. Just do the install. Don't bother to run it. Uh, download the driver. We'll go through the driver install. I'll show you how stupid this is to do. So all you do is you click on your uh, downloaded driver, EXE, and we'll run through this. Click Next. And that's it it says it may take a few minutes it's literally instantaneous so the next thing you want to do you want to tr plug the cable in do not install the driver with the cable plugged in so go ahead and install the cable plug it in the laptop you're going to see uh, found new hardware USB serial port radio cable your hard new hardware is installed and ready to use sweet that's it next thing you want to do is go to device manager right click on my computer go to hardware click on device manager and you want to look for that cable so there it is it's in the ports uh, look in ports open this up USB 62b radio cable you want the COM port now if it doesn't list the COM port right click go to properties port settings I have my port, uh, it's set at 9600, seem to be happy there. And uh, there you go. And you'll notice that, let me get out of here, it says COM5. Write that down, you're going to need that. So it's in COM port 5. So now you can go ahead and launch your November 1 Mike Mike software. Actually, first you're going to need to plug it into the radio. Okay, make sure the radio's off see if I can I got a mess here so part pardon the disaster uh, make sure you plug it in the COM port arrow up see if I can do this with a camera seat it firmly okay go ahead and launch your November 1 Mike Mike it's going to run through, it's going to want you to configure it. So you need to put your call sign in, all the other good stuff. Um, it's probably going to ask to update. If it asks to update, go ahead and update it. I'll wait for this to load. This is running on an old XP laptop. Yes, there is an update available. Click OK. What it's going to do is it's going to close the program and it will run the update automatically for you. You want to update this because they're constantly changing this stuff. Uh, updating the software and all kinds of good stuff. Go ahead and click finish and it will rerun. Uh, 
Okay, so uh, if you don't have a version of this installed and you need to configure it, basically click the config tab, configure ports, mode control, audio, other. You want to uh, select port right here, right here. You want it COM5 or whatever port that your cable is connected to. Select your radio. Um, now this is strictly for the logging program. I'm not going to get into anything else. Uh, so I'm running an 857. So you select 857 and, and hit set over here. Open set. Set your speed. Uh, go with the recommendations here in the software you'll see at the bottom. Speed I have set at 9600. Parity none and data bits 8 stop bits 2 uh, I have DTR and RTS always off both of them nothing else selected click OK and now what you can do click OK on the other window and go ahead and turn on your radio And there we are. Look at the display, 7168. The, the, the VFO on November 1 Mike Mike, 7168. Now if you spin the VFO knob over here, you'll see the frequency change on November 1 Mike Mike. That is what you want to see. It is communicating with the radio. Now to log a contact, all you have to do is put your call in you set and receive if you want to put a name in fine and a comment uh, if you're running contest mode the nice part about this is in a contest basically it tracks the radio everywhere you go you don't have to input the frequency of the UTC or anything uh, the contest mode will set you up with all of the exchange information and all you do is you put your call sign in uh, that station you worked the exchange and hit enter boom you are done if uh, it doesn't call for a signal report. Some some contests don't, like QSO parties maybe and stuff like that. Uh, anyways, that's it. Talk about easy. 7-3. Uh, Good luck. Hope to hear you on the bands. Thanks for watching.